Hello everyone, I'm Lauren and welcome to another video from the Tiny Menagerie. As aquascaping grows in popularity, so does the number of tanks available for the budding enthusiast. And the Superfish Scaper series is aimed at the beginner aquascaper looking for that all-in-one kit to get them started. This is the Superfish Scaper 45, the smallest in the series as there is a 60 and a 90 litre version as well, and in this review we're going to be taking a look at what you get in the box, the quality of the kit, its styling and suitability, and lastly whether or not it's worth the price. At least, in my opinion. First of all, let's take a look at what you get for your money. So the Scaper 45 tank itself is a standard oblong lidless glass box measuring 45 by 32 by 32 centimeters. It's made from what Superfish describe as an ultra clear glass. It's not OptiWhite, so it's still got that slight greenish hue to it, but it's somewhere between OptiWhite and normal glass, and so Superfish are calling it their crystal clear series. And to be honest, yes, I would say it is slightly less green when viewed side on compared to my standard aquariums. It's not much, and if you're the sort of person who's going to get super picky about how white your glass is, then it's probably going to be better for you to just accept that extra cost and go for OptiWhite from the outset. But for everyone else who is perfectly happy with the look of normal glass, then this one is absolutely fine. The tank also comes with a Superfish 100 hang on back filter, which is quite a large size for such a small aquarium, and it does say that it's suitable for up to 100 litres, with an output of 450 litres per hour, although this can be adjusted using the dial on the front. And in all honesty, this filter is okay for what you get starting in the hobby. For me, it's got two major drawbacks, and firstly is that it comes with the annoying cartridges that are so popular these days, and according to Superfish's own instructions, they need to be changed every month, and even then you can't replace both of them at the same time, you have to leave a week in between changing each cartridge. So realistically, you're gonna be changing a cartridge every two weeks and swapping which one that you do. And that frankly is a ridiculous waste of time and money when you can just replace them with some nice easy filter foam instead that you can take out, give them a squeeze to give it a clean and then replace it rather than having to keep buying these new cartridges. The other major drawback for me with this filter is these plastic pipes. The filter is definitely not shrimp or fry safe as it is. These holes at the back of the skimmer and the ones where the actual inlet is are plenty big enough for quite a large shrimp to squeeze into and then it's going to get itself killed on the impeller. And so these holes will either need to be plugged up with some very fine foam or some fine mesh before you can use it for shrimp. And I also don't like to use skimmers long term because they are death traps for small fish who seem remarkably good at getting themselves into the hole. And unfortunately, the pipes don't fit together without the skimmer attached, as the inlet guard won't attach directly over it. This is quite frustrating, considering the tank is only 45 litres, and so really it's been made for nanofish or shrimp, and yet the filter is completely unsuitable for both of these species. It's the first thing you're going to have to replace once you buy your kit. Obviously though, I am a shrimp and nano fish keeper. If on the other hand, you are looking to just keep larger fish, perhaps a pair of epistos or something in there, then this is a perfectly good filter and it works really, really well. It is just depending on how you're planning on stocking your tank. The tank also comes with its own purpose designed light in the form of an LED strip that sits very snugly on the top. And this is a really fantastic light. It produces a wonderful spread. It lights up the bottom of the tank completely, really easily, and it is very, very bright. The light was advertised by the store I bought it from as having a finger-controlled dimmable switch. I believe that's what the rest of us will call an on and off button. But misleading sales spiel aside, this is a great light for aquascapers as it casts a very wide 7300 Kelvin at 16100 Lux, so it is a strong light, so it's going to be able to grow even the most demanding of plants. In anticipation of this, Superfish have also provided it with a bottle of plant fertilizer and some liquid carbon for extra growth. Now I happen to live in the UK and the tank is very much aimed at the European market and so it does come with a couple of adapters, because at the moment it's only got two pin plugs and I of course need a three pin plug. It's a nice touch that it comes with the adapters, but if I'm 100% honest with you, they are rather ungainly, and I'd rather the equipment had just come with the right plug on it in the first place for the country that it's being sold in, but hey ho. <laughs> you also get a slim piece of foam to protect your stand and your tank, and a poster for the back, which has either a black side or a white side, and it can be used for hiding the filter once it's in place. 
In fact, the only thing that's noticeably missing from this kit is a heater. Overall, the build quality of the Scaper 45 is really quite impressive. The silicon work down the edges of the tank is very, very fine so that it's not encroaching on the viewing space. The glass is beautifully cut with a very fine bevel to it. And it does have this crystal clear, slightly paler than you would expect hint to it. Although to be honest, I would expect that from even the most budget tank, because surely the whole point of glass is that you can see through it. I don't know, maybe I'm nitpicking. Anyway, the LED is also this lovely chunky little beast. It feels really firm in your hand and when you're placing it on the tank it attaches nice and solidly so you don't feel like it's going to fall into the water. Even if it did though, the underneath is protected by a layer of silicon rather than plastic, which is what you sadly often see on cheaper lights. And so because it's got the silicon, it is completely waterproof and designed for use over an open top tank. Even the filter, which so far I certainly haven't been very kind to, is a very well made piece of kit and it'll do the job for a lot of aquascapers. It just depends on how you plan on stocking your tank. So overall, the quality of the Scaper 45 can't really be understated. It is a high end looking piece of equipment. The kit cost me £99, which certainly isn't cheap for a 45 litre tank, but considering the amount of equipment that it comes with and the standard that it's been built to, I'm really not complaining. The light itself I would expect to pay at least £30 for, and the filter is £16 by itself, so I would say that this kit is good value for money. And then of course you come to why it is likely you've been drawn to the tank in the first place, and that is the styling. It is easy to see how Superfish have very much emulated the ADA Cube Garden line, offering a very simple but very high quality aquarium in proportions that are very well suited to aquascaping, just without that associated ADA price tag or the OptiWide glass. The Scaper series are sleek and minimal. The light has an aluminium casing and clear sides and the hob filter is as hidden as a filter can get without having the cost of a canister filter. And it's clear that Superfish have put a lot of thought into the design of their product so that it appeals to scapers rather than just your average passing fish keeper. And of course the huge benefit to the beginning aquascaper is that this kit comes with so much of the necessary equipment to start you on your journey. Basically just add a heater and possibly get a new filter too. Overall though, the Scaper 45 is a great little tank. It is the perfect size to practice scaping in. It's cheap enough to get you started, but also expensive enough to be serious about it. Anywho, I hope you've enjoyed this little review of the Scaper 45. Happy fish keeping everyone, and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye!